Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. When talking about animals, we tend to be joy-struck by the playful giant pandas, mesmerized by the agility of the lion, or whatever it is we find desirable. In other words, the focus is usually on good qualities. But in this video, we're looking at the other side of the coin, a side that's hardly talked about, the ugly side. We've rounded up 10 animals that would have gotten cosmic surgery if they remotely cared about their looks. Number 10, Ai Ai. This lemur is endemic to Madagascar and is known for its exceptionally long fingers. Among the fingers, the middle one tends to be longer and thinner than the rest. This is an adaptation that comes in handy in extracting grubs from trees. The eye eyes also use the middle finger to scoop flesh from fruits that make up part of their diet in addition to insects. Their ugly side lies in the extra large ears that are sensitive and big yellowish eyes. Their general anatomy gives them the appearance of one scary caricature. This, coupled with the fact that they are non-ternal, led to the widespread belief among the Malagasy that the appearance of the eye eye signals evil and even death. So the general convention is to kill the animals as soon as it's spotted. This has had a tremendous negative effect on the conservation status of these lemurs, which are endangered. But the fact that they're protected by law means all is not lost as far as conservation is concerned. Number 9. Zolatl. This species of salamander is found exclusively in the Chimilco Lake complex near Mexico City. Also known as the Mexican walking fish, the exolotl is particularly revered for exhibiting neoteny. This means that its development is significantly slowed down such that it reaches adulthood with larval features such as the tadpole-like dorsal fin. But even neotenic is just one of the reasons why these unique amphibians attract attention. Even more of the rage is their ability to regenerate lost body parts all in a few months. And sometimes the salamanders can do the same for even more vital organs, such as the heart tissues, tail, and central nervous system, and even limbs. This has made them huge among pet owners who view them as ingenious life forms. But even more important is that their use as a model for the regeneration of limbs in the larger vertebrata subphylum. Unique about the exolotl is that it spends much of its life in water instead of venturing on land once in a while like other salamanders. Number 8. Naked Mole Rat This is one of the most intriguing rodents around. The rodent is endemic to East Africa and gets its name from its bare wrinkled pink skin. But that's not the only distinguishing feature. The rodents also have a set of protruding teeth that are used to dig burrows. And here it gets even more interesting. Not all naked mole rats do the work. These burrowing mammals live in colonies just like most insects. And among the colonies, there are worker rodents that are responsible for digging burrows, gathering food such as roots and bulbs, and tending to the queen. Just like in insect colonies, the queen is the only one that bears offspring. But being ugly by human standards hasn't had any effect on the survival of the naked mole rats. Experiments have shown that they are capable of pulling off feats never seen before in most of the animal kingdom. For instance, they can survive for as long as 18 minutes without oxygen. In a different study, they were also found to have a reduced mortality rate as they grew older, something that is unheard of among mammals. Finally, they're also immune to pain. Number 7. California Condor The California Condor is the largest North American terrestrial bird with a wingspan of about 3 meters and weighing in at 12 kilograms. That's one hell of a body, and to maintain it, these birds need a kilogram of meat every day. But they're known to be heavy feeders and will often have to take a rest for several hours before flying again after a meal. While the rest of their bodies are covered with feathers like any typical bird out there, it's the neck and facial features of California condors that make them particularly hideous. The birds are devoid of feathers from the neck all the way to the beak, probably as an adaptation to keep the carrion from getting attached. The eyes are probably the most frightening part of these vultures. You wouldn't want to stare down with one of these birds. The beak is, understandably, one big structure that's essential in tearing into flesh. Despite the supposedly hideous look, the vultures spend quite some time grooming themselves. Unfortunately, these huge birds went extinct in the 1980s, at least in the wild. But thanks to conservation efforts, things are beginning to look up. They're now bred in captivity, with reported numbers being in the neighborhoods of 400. More than half of these have been reintroduced into the wild. Number 6. Cockapoo 
Here is the strangest and rarest of bird species, the cockapoo, also known as the owl parrot. The New Zealand native looks more like a combination of an owl and a penguin, except that it's none of them. It's actually a parrot, but with an owl face and the gait of a penguin. And it's an interesting parrot at that. For starters, it's flightless, which is a bit different from most parrot species. The cockapoo is also a nocturnal bird, which, again, means it's different from a majority of parrot species. But perhaps the most outstanding quality of this parrot is its size. At a weight of 6 kilograms, the cockapoo is the heaviest among parrots. The cockapoos are among the critically endangered animal species on the planet, largely due to the introduction of predators into their natural habitat during the colonial period. It's important to note that these birds evolved alone without the threat of predators, which led to them being largely fearless. That, coupled with the fact that they're flightless, made them easy to catch. Today, just slightly over 200 cockapoos exist. Number 5. Proboscis Monkey this primate is known for its larger-than-life nose, a feature that has landed it in our video today and is also responsible for the monkey's name. The monkeys are endemic to the world's third largest island, Borneo Island in Southeast Asia, where they stay near rivers, swamps, and the coast. It is only natural since they love swimming, and they're good at it. In fact, they are the best swimmers across the larger primates order. But with this love of water, they become hunting targets of crocodiles. Hence, they developed webbed feet and hands which give them an edge when it comes to swimming away from this formidable predator. That said, they spend most of their time on trees and only venture on land when hunger pangs come knock. Though all proboscis monkeys have a prominent nose, the feature is more pronounced in males. The large noses in males serve to amplify the male's vocalization, impressing females and intimidating would-be rivals at the same time. The species live in social groups that are led by a single male, up to seven females and infants. In some instances, the males may hang out solo or with other males. Number 4. Star-Nosed Mole The star-nosed mole is a one-of-a-kind critter prevalent in the northern parts of North America. While it scores poorly in as far as aesthetics go, it lives one of the most interesting lives in the animal kingdom, and that is all thanks to its nose. The nose is covered by about 20 tentacle-like protrusions known as Emer's organs, and it's these projections that give the mole a rather unpleasant look in the beauty books. But as it turns out, the organs play a very important role in the survival of the star-nosed mole. According to researchers, each of the Emer's organs is made up of 25,000 sensory receptors that relay information to the mole's brain. Combined, the receptors make the mole's nose about five times more sensitive than a human's hand. In essence, the nose doubles up as the eyes since this unique mole is blind for a larger part. The information sent to the brain is essential in locating and pouncing on potential prey, and happens at an incredible speed. Within a second, the star-nosed mole can touch the ground with its nose about 10 to 12 times, making it the fastest world eater according to National Geographic. Number 3. Monkfish also known as the angler, the monkfish is probably one of the ugliest delicacies you'll ever encounter. Much of its body is made of the head, with the remaining part being much like an afterthought. But this isn't what makes it ugly. The domineering head has its entire front occupied by the mouth, which is in turn armed with jaws of long pointed teeth that slant inwards. But interestingly, the monkfish doesn't use these teeth to attack. Also, they've been known to swallow their prey whole. The teeth are merely used to ensure the prey doesn't wiggle out once it lands in the angler's mouth. So how does this ugly deep sea dweller catch prey? It has a modified interior fin that dangles just in front of the mouth. That way, it acts as a kind of lure that attracts other small fish near enough to be gobbled up through the large mouth. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. Number 2. Blobfish The blobfish owns the title of the ugliest animal in the world. Well, it's not such a nice title, but it's still an accolade nonetheless. Unlike your typical fish that has muscles and a skeleton, the blobfish is entirely made up of a gelatinous material just slightly less dense than seawater. This anatomy is handy considering the animal lives at depths of 600 to 1,200 meters at the coastal waters of New Zealand, Australia, and Tasmania. At such depths, the pressure can be more than 100 times greater than that experienced at sea level. 
This makes having gas bladders, a common mechanism for maintaining buoyancy in fish, ineffective. The gelatinous body allows the blobfish to easily float just above the ocean floor without too much effort. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number one, Titicaca water frog. Wrapping up today's video is a rare Titicaca water frog, found only in Lake Titicaca, Peru. It's known to be fully aquatic, unlike most frog species. And nope, it doesn't stay at the surface, but prefers hanging out near the bottom. It might rise to the surface on a very rare occasion, only if the water isn't oxygenated enough. Naturally, it had to develop some mechanism for its unique way of life, and the skin is just handy for that. It's folded, giving a wrinkly and ugly appearance. The folds allow the frog to get enough oxygen for survival under the lake. As full-time water dwellers, the Titicaca water frogs are some of the largest of their kind, weighing in at one kilogram on average. The female members tend to be generally larger than their male counterparts. 